Hey, cute stuff. Well, welcome to another message with me, the Divination Duchess. Hey, boo, hey. So, today we are tapping into Betty White. We're going to get a few messages from her as a part of my series of getting some mediumship messages here. So, if you haven't checked out Marilyn, you can check that one out. I'm thinking, I don't know who I'm going to do next week. We're going to see. But let's talk to Miss Betty Spirit. Let us connect. Oh, Betty White. Oh, Betty White. What message do you have for the collective? What do you need them to know today? What do you want to say? Ooh, so we're starting off here with a four of swords. Okay. A queen of wands. Oh, I already hear it. I hear it loud and proud, honey a five of swords. So this is really a message from Betty telling you it's time to take action. It's time to get up. It's time to go. And the six of swords is all about moving forward, taking action, right? So Betty's saying here that you got a lot of drive right now. You got a lot of passion towards something, okay? You have a lot of drive, a lot of passion. There's something here that you're supposed to be working towards. This Ten of Swords is what had flipped and then it came back out, right? But it's like you got to let something go first. And so Betty's saying, what are you waiting for, boo? She's like, get it together. It's time to go. It's time to do it. It's time to do it. It's like that Nike vibe. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. So there's something that you know you need to do, but you've been holding yourself back from fear or doubt or worry. And so she's saying here, why are we still resting? Why are we still in the four of swords? She's saying you've thought about it enough. You've contemplated enough. It's time to stop thinking and it's a time to start doing. It's a time to start making moves. So you're being urged here to step out there, right? And make these moves because she's saying here, as you push forward, as you make moves, you're going to overcome some energy where you've been feeling defeated. So if there's something that you've been putting a lot of energy in and you feel like you are on the brink of giving up or you're just like, you know what? I decided to take a break, but now you're like, you know what? I don't even know if I want to get back into it. Betty's saying you're going to feel defeated if you don't. You're going to feel defeated. You're going to feel a lot of internal friction. You're going to be mad at yourself. You're going to be upset. You're going to be miserable if you don't allow yourself to move forward. So she's telling you right now to allow yourself to move forward, to get back into that energy of this queen of wands, to have that drive, to have this push, to have this urge here for the life that you want. And so with this Ten of Swords, she's saying that, yeah, there's certain things you got to let go of. There's certain things that you got to stop doing. There's certain ways that you got to stop living, right? Certain things you got to stop thinking. But she's saying it's going to be well worth the reward if you will just believe, okay? Seven of Coins. So with this here, she's saying that as you are in this, in this energy of kind of leaning back or sitting back, right, that you've planted the seed that the seed has been planted, something is ready to grow for you, but you have to keep on guarding it, right? So say you throw some seeds out there, but now you don't worry about the sunlight, you don't worry about you no know, water, rain, you don't worry about none of that. The seed's not gonna grow. So she's saying here that you can't, it's not good enough, is the exact words. It's not good enough to just plant the seed. Now she's saying you must watch it grow. So she's saying you have to baby it, you have to water it, you have to nurture it. Yes, she's saying nurture it your soul's calling you to as you nurture it that's what things move forward right as you nurture this that you decided to take a break on and rest on that's when things move forward here okay she said a break is not forever and again forward movement the knight of swords is i feel like this is the fastest mover in the deck some people feel it's the knight of wands i feel it's the knight of swords okay knight of swords ain't worried about nothing they just moving 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 so fast that they can't even see what's going on around them and so that's what betty said she's saying get to moving what are we overthinking for what are we processing what are we waiting for knight of cups she's saying there's so many offerings that want to come in to you but if you don't want to open the door, how can they come in? So it's like, I love this message because today she's reminding you of all the opportunities that you have in your life. She's reminding you of the doors that are there for you to open. And she's saying that this is not the time to give up. This is not the time to say, you know what? I know I planted the seed, but now that it, I'm tired, I don't want to water it. No, she's saying, get back into that fire. Get back into that drive. You got a little bit more push in you. You got more push in you. And then we got this three of cups here. I feel like she's saying here that you're very much supported. 
Yeah, very much supported. That a lot of times you feel like you don't have the support with this five of coins, this three of cups. You feel like you don't have the support or you feel like you've been going at it alone or that you've been on this struggle alone. You got a problem, so I'll figure it out. There's always a new problem. It's like that energy, but she's trying to let you know that you're not alone, that you're not going at it alone, that you're actually divinely supported. And so if you trust in that support, then it'll give you the ability to take that next step forward. Four coins. She's saying, hold on to this opportunity. Hold on to what it is that you know that your heart desires. We got the death card. She's saying, let yourself transform. Let this situation transform, not end. What we need to put an end to is the devil energy. The fear, the control, the overthinking, the getting stuck in these cycles here of fear. She's saying there's nothing to fear here. That you're meant to win. You're meant to succeed. If you shall, just believe. Give us more here. Betty wants you to, no matter what type of energy, she's saying no matter how many negativities you've been through, how much drama, she wants you to keep emitting love. She's saying that the more that you emit love, that it comes back to you. She's saying there's so many days where she was just so upset. I'm seeing her kicking things, okay? It's like she was so upset, she just had to kick something, even in her dressing room. <laughs> That's funny, okay? But she said that never made her bitter or upset or feel like she can't love others. And so she's saying that don't be bitter. Instead, tap into that love and move forward and be who you are. Show the world how beautiful, colorful, amazing you are. Because she's saying as you do that, you're going to be noticed. You're going to come out on top. You're going to win. What is it here that you want to tell the collective, Betty? She's saying it's all about speaking up, speaking your truth. I'm hearing from Betty say, don't hold back. Express your desires. Express your wants. Express your truths. She's saying be convicted by your truths. Never fit into anybody's mold. Not a single soul. She's saying when you allow people to start molding you, you start drifting away from your desires because now you're drifting towards other people's desires versus your own and so i feel like she's saying that some of you have already drifted you haven't even been on your own path in so long you haven't focused on what truly fulfills your heart in so long because you've been fulfilling what other people desire for you hmm. yeah she's saying to be gentle with yourself be loving and kind to yourself know what you deserve Know what you deserve. She's saying sometimes the, the right people don't seem to be in the right places. Or like, it, it, she's saying that it seems like you're not getting the support from the right people. But she's saying that the only support you need is from within and from source, from God the divine. And when you know that to be truth, then it empowers you to follow on that path. The one that fulfills your heart versus others. She's saying... If you're doing something right now that doesn't make you happy, that you should turn away from it and start going after what you're passionate about. Definitely. She wants you to know that you are incapable of healing everyone, okay? She wants you to know here that it's a time of you focusing on yourself because you can't focus and heal everyone. You can't, you can't fulfill that gap. Yeah, you're supposed to be trusting your own inner voice. Your inner voice is urging you to go down a specific path. Your inner voice is leading you down a specific path. But sometimes that voice gets distorted here. And so it's a time for you to listen, truly listen. And when you release those feelings of being alone, feelings of abandonment, and you feel the true love of God, source. She's saying that's when you really win. That's when you really come out on top because no one can stop you. No one can hold you back. Nothing can get in your way. <laughs> she said, you know how many people tried to hold her back, stop her, get in her way? She said, never. They didn't even have a chance. And you know why? Because she said she loved herself unconditionally first. And she's saying the more that you love yourself, the more that you nurture your inner child, the more that you really sit there and be gentle with your inner self, your inner child, the more you're going to rise. Yeah. 
And this is because you're providing yourself with comfort and love. So she's saying here that remember that you shall rise as soon as you shall raise your vibration. As soon as you shall take care of yourself, you will win. You will rise. And she's saying that everyone deserves to win. She wants you to win. She's saying you're number one. So you got to act like you're number one. And she said, when you act like you're number one, that means you're full of love, you're full of ambition, you're full of passion, you're full of understanding, and you know that you must love yourself first and trust yourself first above all else. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be talking to you later, boo. Bye.